This video will demonstrate how to create buffers using QGIS. The data that's being used for this demonstration are lakes and streams in Clallam County, Washington, and I've also included a polygon representing the county to provide a little bit of geographic context. A buffer is an area of equal and consistent distance that's drawn around a feature, and this creates a zone around each feature in a layer. Buffers are useful for certain types of queries or analyses. And buffers can be created for all vector feature types, whether they're points, whether they're lines, or polygons. So let's uh, say hypothetically we're interested in um, protecting some areas around these water bodies. So we can create that protection zone, or we can uh, basically create a buffer to represent that protection zone. Let's start first with the stream, so we're using line data. And to create a buffer, we can either go up to the menu, select vector, go to geoprocessing tools and select buffer, or from the processing toolbox, we can either do a search for buffer, or we can expand vector geometry and double click on buffer. So here in the uh, dialog box it opens up, we want to select our input layer. It's already set to Clallam County Streams. If we want to select a different one, we can just use that drop-down menu. And the distance. So we want to specify a particular distance. I'm going to use 250 feet, so we can enter that in. If you want to use a different unit, you can use this drop-down menu to select different unit. For segments, we'll just put in 25. The higher a number you have there, the more accurate your uh, resulting buffer is going to be. And then um, we can specify, we can either create a temporary layer or we can go to save, at, save to file. And um, I will call this uh, stream buffer and I'll put in the 250 in the name just so um, so I'm, I, I remember as I'm looking at uh, the layers window and then go ahead and click run and if I close this window we can see that the streams are no longer blue so the buffer is there if we zoom in a bit more um, we can see actually I'll uh, reorganize the drawing order we can see the stream we turn off the buffer you can see the streams there and then we can see this buffer zone that's been created so I'll turn off the streams layer and so we can see that we have our um, buffer zones that are created around the streams now say we're also interested in um, creating a buffer around the lakes as well so I'll turn off both the streams and the stream buffers and we can open up the buffer geoprocessing tool once again, select the lakes layer, set the same distance to 250 feet and at 25 segments. And for this, I'm going to leave this as a temporary layer because there's an additional step that we'll need to do in order to get that zone around the lakes. So go ahead and click run and then close this window and I'm just going to uh, reorganize the drawing order. So if we zoom in here to Lake Crescent we can see that we've got the original lake in blue and we can also see the buffer extending out 250 feet along the edges but if I turn off the lakes layer we can see that the buffer, what was buffered, includes the original aerial extent of the lakes in addition to extending those boundaries 250 feet outwards. So to just get like a ring that's going to represent that buffer zone around these lakes, we need to use the difference tool. So we can find that by expanding vector overlay from the processing toolbox, double clicking on difference, 
And then for our input, we want to select that um, temporary layer, the buffered, and the overlay we're going to set to Clown County Lakes. And here I'm going to save to file. This is my final output. So I will call this Lakes Buffer 250. Click Save click run and I'll close this window and if I turn off the buffered layer as well as the lakes layer we see that what we're left with are just just that zone that 250 foot zone around the lakes